Hey everyone, Katie here, and today I'm talking about Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Maria Simple. I noticed when I was browsing Goodreads earlier that a lot of my Goodreads friends have already read this book, and I think that's kind of the way things go with this book. It's a national bestseller, and so I'm going to talk about it, but I think I'm going to make it a little bit quicker than my usual reviews, which have been six and seven minutes. In case you don't know, Where'd You Go, Bernadette is the story of a young girl named B and her eccentric genius parents, LG, who is a software developer at Microsoft, and Bernadette, who is an architect who has only ever built two buildings. The gist of the story is that Bernadette goes missing eventually after B gets good grades and requests that the family go on a trip to Antarctica on a ship. Bernadette is agoraphobic, and she's clearly got a lot of issues, you know, everything she does, she does through her virtual assistant online, and she avoids interactions at all costs. The story is surprisingly about what happens leading up to Bernadette's escape slash point where she runs away. I'm eloquent. Now, as I said, I was on Goodreads earlier, and I just wanted to kind of take a peek and see what people said about this book, and I can tell from that that this is the kind of book that you either love or you hate. Now, I loved it. I thought it talked about some important topics, and it was funny, and it was pretty quick paced. It's unique in that it's an epistolary novel, thus really unique. I don't think you see many of these epistolary novels at this point, and to be honest, I didn't think I'd enjoy it, but I did like that. My biggest complaint that I think a lot of people have a problem with is towards the end it kind of breaks off the epistolary novel format and just becomes B talking about what's happening. And I thought that was kind of weird. I feel like Bernadette is clearly dealing with a lot of issues. She's supposed to be a genius and they do deal with things differently, I think. You know, people who are highly intelligent have trouble with things like emotions and dealing with problems and stress and that's really the crux of what is going on with Bernadette is that she went through something that threw her off and she never really recovered. Something that made this book really relatable for me was the character of B. She was born with a heart problem and they say she's born blue which is actually what happened to my older sister who was born without a pulmonary valve. She's like 32 now but she struggled with heart problems especially in the first five years of her life. So B's story of being in and out of the hospital, for B it was the first 10 years of her life, it, it reminded me of my life, you know, my sister's life, my family's life, you know, we've been there, we've dealt with that. So that was really interesting because you don't read a lot about people with heart problems or heart defects. Um, I don't know, I don't, but um, that was kind of interesting. Another thing that I found a little bit relatable was Bernadette's overwhelming fear of going to Antarctica and how she gradually just completely loses it because she will do anything to get out of that trip. I could see in her letters and her emails that as each page turned she was just unraveling a little bit more. I don't think this book is perfect. Certainly there is a lot of treating Bernadette like she's crazy and trying to fix her when, you know, really she needs to fix herself. It seems like most of the female characters in the book have some sort of issue that makes them crazy women. The story is pretty good, but it ends really abruptly. That really bothered me. I didn't feel very satisfied by the ending, but I guess that's how books go. I mean, you don't always get what you want. All in all, I really love this book, really. It was funny, and it wasn't what I expected, and I think the characters are interesting and unique, and, you know, you don't read a lot of books about really unique characters and uh, you know just because they're different doesn't mean that they can't be real. I don't think this is everyone's cup of tea. If you're not going to pay much attention to it and you want a funny novel with some heart, I would say read this, but you probably already have. You know, if you don't want to read about rich people having some problems, don't read the book. <laughs> Since I know a lot of my Goodreads friends who are also booktubers or um, people who watch booktube, go ahead and let me know in the comments what you thought about this book and about maybe the characters or the story about 
the abrupt ending. I would really love to talk about it. I think that's all I have to say about this book. I will see you later. Bye.